Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton has returned into my life. I haven't posted quite a while now about anything Louis Vuitton related, uh, except for snippets here and there. Sometimes a bit of something would kind of pop into a video vlog or follow me around, especially my little posh toilet 15 centimeters. But today I'm going to talk to you about a bigger piece. This is the posh documents. It's a it's the predecessor of the Posh documents that we see now on the Louis Vuitton website or in their stores. I have purchased this baby directly from Louis Vuitton from their website. It was my first Louis Vuitton, no, my second Louis Vuitton online purchase um, back in 2013. Uh, December of 2013, it was uh, my uh, Christmas gift to myself, basically, back then. And um, since then, this uh, this this type of bag or in this shape and this material has been discontinued, unfortunately, as also many times the reformulations of things are worse than the predecessors. Um, this bag is really big, very practical, and it was, believe it or not, extremely convenient for what it was because it's really huge. I'm gonna to get to the size in a second. And what is amazing about it, I'm gonna open it up and take out the padding, which I leave in here for protection purposes when I don't use the bag. It's completely in leather. There you go. And the leather, I mean, the version of the Posh Documents or whatever they call it nowadays, is totally different. It's not the same one anymore. It's much smaller. It's like shorter. So it goes like from there to there. It has a different cut and trimming here. And guess what? No leather on the inside anymore. Now they only put like some artificial, they call it a technical textile or whatever. But I mean, I wouldn't trust it. I just want my leather on the inside always with Louis Vuitton goods except if it's a keep all whatever because in that case it's canvas anyway or some cottony material but so when I first started researching about this bag back in 2013 it was like 435 euro then I was like okay I'm gonna purchase it and then it was sold out and then it came back again two weeks later online for uh 450 and then it was gone again and then I got it for 475 and then two weeks later, and this was like literally two weeks before Christmas. So right after Christmas, it came back again for $4.95. And then it was discontinued and then came back smaller without the leather on the inside for 500 and something. I guess now it's over 550 euro already for something that's smaller and of lesser quality. What is going on with you, Louis Vuitton? What is going on with Chanel and all these brands? Why are you doing this? It's so effing obvious. That, that, that you're, you're, you're cutting like edges where you can, you're saving money and you're making us pay more. Not cool. So, but anyway, this piece, personal opinion, was worth the money because it's really fun and great and sturdy. If you can get your hands on one on, you know, some secondhand website or whatever, do so. This one, by the way, was made in France. And the authenticity stamp is in black in there, but I'm not gonna show it close up because I wanna protect its identity, but it's there. Um, oh, actually, I can double check the, the year it was made. Oh, no, I purchased this one in 2012, people. <laughs> this one was purchased in um, December 2012. Oh my God, how time flies. Well, then you can imagine, 2012 was 435, then went up to 450, 475 is when I got it, then 495, so for 2013, then it jumped up to the 500s range, and now God knows how much it is, because if it was that much in, 4000, in 2013, then 2015, but anyway, long time ago, oh my baby, well anyway, you can see, so basically, it's a bag that I have since 2012, well, Christmas, so let's say 13, 14, and half of 15, Two and a half years, abundant two and a half years. It's holding up perfectly to to use, to wear and tear. And I do use it a lot, even though I don't photograph it a lot. Um, although there are some pictures on Instagram with it, with me, with it. Now, let's get to the size of this bag really quickly. This is better. What is better? Where is more sun? I'm always trying to use... This is another little insider note. I like to use natural daylight, if possible. I'm going to get to artificial light. You know what? I'm thinking of enhancing some stuff, buying some technical equipment to better my channel and to better your uh, experiences in viewing my channel. But especially because also, um, you know, 21st of June is like the longest day, shortest night, and then days start getting shorter. And then when we start hitting autumn and winter, I'm going to have to start using artificial lights because it was a pain in the butt filming 
last uh, winter because, you know, there's no sun, literally. So you need artificial lights. As much as I love natural sunlight, I'm going to have to kind of also use the aid of artificial lighting in the near future. Now, the length of this bag is, let's say, 38 and a half to 39 centimeters. The height is around 28 approximately centimeters. And the width it depends, you know, because on this side, you see, you could stretch it out quite a bit. On this side, you can't because it has the golden or bronzy zipper. Now, let's open it up and see. So, okay. Begins here, you have your Louis Vuitton logo on the zipper, LV on both sides. And then you zip it. Zip it, zip it, zip it, zip it. One curve, second curve. So you got two curves to make it very easy to access all your documents or whatever you want to put in it. But other than wearing it as an amazing hat, isn't this practical and lovely? You could also wear it this way. You can, uh, I don't really put documents in this thing. I actually wear, put, use it as like a, <laughs> this is such a funny word, like a man bag. I use it as a man bag. Um, I'm going to compare this to the, uh, the Poche Toilette 26, the biggest one of the three. Uh, just because I think whoever's into Louis Vuitton, pr chances are that you're gonna have this if you're into Louis Vuitton stuff. So look, you can put the whole thing in here. Ha! Huh. <laughs> you have your 26 posh toilet in here, and there's still room for much, much, much more. What else you say? Well, let's see. What about a dinosaur? You can have your own personal Jurassic World in your bag. In your man bag. All right. Then, oh, uh, Freddy Krueger DVD. How about that? Let's put that in here as well. What else can we put in here? Just because I don't wear it on my wrist today. The Jeremy Swatch, watch. Let's put that in here as well. What else? What else can we do? Poison bottle. Just did a review on poison. Check that out too. Let's take poison with us to the park. There. <laughs> and there's still more room down here, especially. I didn't squish it all properly. But like it's an endless, endless fountain of beautiful things you could store in here. And then, you know, you just stand up and you pick it up and you go. You're ready. You know, you're just, you're ready. You're on the go. Put the chair away. And voila. Of course, when you're carrying it with you, you have only one arm. The other one is constantly holding it. So you're going to have to either hold it under it to do stuff. Or I put it between my legs often and then I do whatever I need to do. But yeah, I love this bag. It's a big statement. It's, I know it's chunky and I know it's kind of tacky in a way. Let's take this stuff out again. Um, because it's a big logo in your face. And I know a lot of people are totally against it. A lot of people think it's like really horrible, decadent, and are not at all into this sort of stuff. To each his own. You like it, you like it. You don't like it, you move on. You get something else. Let's compare them side by side. I'm going to do a review on this one, as I maybe said before, but not just quite now, or not just yet. Let me just tell you one thing, though. Lady Diana had this little piece, and uh, would wear it as a little pochette, and uh, Marc Jacobs did that, too. So, really cool piece. I do kind of take it out to parties sometimes, as a bag, because this one is too big to take out to parties, obviously. So let's compare them in size. So forever, for whoever knows uh, the 26, or has the 26, Poche Toilette, you could see here the comparison when uh, the smaller is in front of the bigger one. That's how they look like. So you could imagine how big this little baby is at the end of the day and how practical. Now, authenticity, you know, the, the authenticity rules that apply to key pals and speedies do not apply to, uh, to this one because usually with key pals and speedies, if you, you know, the cut here begins with one of these symbols, let's say this round circular thing you should follow. Follow this line, you know, it goes around here. And then basically on the other side, you also have to have the circle. That does apply to this bag, applies to speedies, keep balls, whatever, what, what have you, what want you, does not apply to the posh document, at least not to the this version of it. Now, the new one, shorter, smaller one, I don't know what they did with it, but I don't even want to go into it because I really don't like the new one. And I also really despise the price of the new one. 
with no leather, not even one little tidbit of leather on the inside for the new one. Horrible. Look at all the leather you get here. Like, you could make a hat. <laughs> Should I put it on again as a hat? No, let's avoid that. But um, one thing, one rule does apply as for many uh, authentications for um, Louis Vuitton. The canvas is one piece of fluent canvas that flows from one side to the other, meaning you will have your Louis Vuitton logos standing upright on one side. On the other, they're going to be upside down. That's a good sign. Don't worry if they're upside down. It means your bag might be authentic. The only way to really know if your bag is authentic is to buy directly from Louis Vuitton, which is what I did. There's no other way of doing it. Like, otherwise, you're always going to be annoying myself and how hysterical I am about these things. I would always be in some sort of way not secure about it, would be freaking out all the time, thinking, oh, maybe it's not the right thing, maybe it's fake or whatever. Uh, some people don't really care. I do care. I don't know. Not just out of respect towards these people who design these things and put a lot of allegedly love and effort into them. I don't even know what is the deal anymore because, you know, as we all know, a lot of these bags and a lot of these uh, makers, bag makers or fashion makers kind of state that they produce in Europe or wherever have you, but in reality produce in China and then just put the last detail touches in Europe. So we don't really know what is happening. We can just passively accept what they tell us, which I do, because otherwise I wouldn't be buying it. If I had any suspicion that this was not made in France, uh, I wouldn't have gotten it. But now that time has passed, the more time passes, the more I think these companies produce outside of Europe because they can't keep up with demand. I don't get it. There's so much demand and so much price increases and the demand is growing with the price increases. Totally out of my, my own like logic spectrum. But anyway, this was the bag. I hope you liked my review. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel, please, if you want to see more because there's a lot more coming up. And uh, leave me comments in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Bye.